Oh my god, <laughs> loads of things of, for Christmas have just all came at once and I can't believe a load of them have arrived. Alright guys, welcome to another Sunday vlog. Hello. Now this almost didn't happen because of all oh. the server problems I've had and my computer's been locked up all week as you'll see because yeah. that's all that's going to be in this unfortunately. But I've had some major problems and I think it might actually help somebody out there. So without further ado, <laughs> here's this week's vlog. I've just say barely made it on the channel. So I hope you enjoy it because it was a <sighs> mad bloody rush if you don't. <laughs> I've got my trusty, oh, would help if I had them on. Trusty scissors. So I can try and open them if I can. Ah, this is for work. It's no Christmas present, but some balloons. Right, let's see. Make sure they're all for me, though. Just rip it. Oh yeah! I bought this for myself. Glue gun. What the? Glue sticks so you press them inside, melts it, and uses as a glue gun. My glue gun. Just rip it! Oh, here! My string has come that I was talking about that you wrap around the balloons. With the men PVA glue. Come, come. Ah, oh, some of the flowers. I bought some bottom thing flowers. Honestly, why did I have to wrap them up so much? I hate packaging. I really hate packaging. Oh, I think this might be one of the Christmas presents. And I think this may be another thing for KC, which should be the um, telescope. And yes, it is. Telescope jobby. Because it's already padded, I'm just going to leave it like that so that I can just wrap it up so you won't be able to tell what it is. Small parcel. Just rip it. Ooh, now this is my present Christmas gift, which is my cup. Hey, hey, the Jamie. better off if I had a knife or something instead of... Ah! This is another gift that I have got. Lots of bubble wrap. I can reuse it. Keep that! Um, white chocolate, vanilla cream, caramel, the mini marshmallows to go in. And I've got a cinnamon flavoured hot chocolate, orange flavoured, and mint flavoured. I've ordered some PVA glue, but I haven't arrived yet. I have no idea what this is. Yes, hello, son. Flowers? Why would you put that honestly with the flowers? Bloody hell, have you heard that though? It's really coming down, it has almost all day. It's really bloody bad now, isn't it? I'm not sure if the shotgun microphone's picking this up. Can you guys hear that? Listen, they are come next to the window. You should definitely be able to hear that. It's like torrential rain out there. They said it was going to rain for a couple of days. But look at that. Which sometimes makes it all the more pleasurable to go to bed when you're knackered. Do you know what I'm saying, darling? Yeah. When you can hear the wind like rattling. And you know it's like nice and warm. Oh, check out our new snuggle, snuggle blanket look. Yeah. Look at it's that. So lovely. It's so it's a furry. spare one Tracy had left on the Avon, didn't you? Yeah, it's just so nice and soft. 
So we're going to climb in there and watch The Walking Dead, aren't we? Yeah. And someone else will probably invite you, Sally, in. Like you You've done been snuggling on us tonight, haven't you? Yeah. You've been snuggling on the couch with Mummy. Right, there's the MacBook Pro currently charging with a new battery in it and some RAM, um, which I persuaded my mum to let us test before I put it in the box. We can't wait until after Christmas to find out that the RAM can't be returned because it's faulty and, and sometimes RAM can be can be faulty. So the battery's getting charged up again, I explained to her, you know, you can still wrap it up mum if you're watching. Well, I need to test it first, so I'm calibrating the battery, which means I need to charge it um, until the light goes green on the MagSafe. Rest in peace, the MagSafe, because it's no longer on Apple devices anymore. And then I've got to let it run down. And then once it's ran down, I've got to leave it off and run down for five hours and then charge it up again, and then the battery's calibrated. Then it can go in the box and then it can be wrapped up. And then I have to pretend I don't know where it is which should be fun. Um, I had a little bit of a panic on <clears throat> today because the RAM on me, my laptop started screwing up and it, it actually came with four gig um, and it only said two gig. Um, and I was reading all these horror stories that it could be the logic board and also it could be um, something wrong with the RAM, which I wasn't bothered about because I was taking the RAM out. And it turns out it must have been the RAM because I've put the 16 gig in and it's worked. Now you're probably thinking, hang on Adam, I thought your laptop was old. It is by today's MacBook Pro standard. I mean, it doesn't go a touchpad or anything, but it has got um, upgradability. And what I mean by that is you can upgrade the RAM. I've got two SSDs in there because I took out the CD drive and you can't do that with modern day Macs because they sold it to the logic board. So I've got 16 gig of RAM in there, which is seeing. So the slowest part of this MacBook now is the fact that it's only a dual core processor. But I can't wait to see what it does with Premiere and proxy files with 16 gig of RAM. So there's life in this machine still. And it means I've still got a Mac to edit on the go when I'm on business trips and whatnot. Now you're probably thinking, why upgrade an older Mac? Because you look at the touch bar, it's amazing, it's amazing. But the thing is, like I've said, you can't upgrade them. And that's like the worrying thing, do you know what I mean? So at least with this, everything's like, you know, upgradable apart from the processor. And another thing you might be wondering is, why didn't you film, obviously for the vlog, you changing the RAM and changing the battery? Well, the thing is, right, I do seem pretty technical and I do understand things like that, but I'm not really much of a hardware person, I'm more software. I can use a computer to the full extent, but I can't really do, you know, the hardware side, or I have never attempted it. And basically, if I'm honest, I didn't want to balls it up on the vlog and look like a tit so I skipped that bit and I've just resorted to telling you that I've done it now you've been following the vlog for a while now so would I lie to you ball ache ball ache ball ache have you guys ever had a ball ache of a day my Synology box I did a data scrubbing the other day and it said it had bad sectors on the disc if left unchecked, I could lose all my work. Now that's not very nice to know that, is it? And then to make matters worse, I could swap the hard drive out now, get a three terabyte NAS drive, stick it in, and the system will rebuild itself. Even though I'll have to look into that because I don't really know how it's gonna do that. And so, the worst thing you can do is I've only got redundancy for two discs, so if the second disc fails, you lose everything. And the most thing you can do with Synology NAS is rebuild, so the second drive could die as it's rebuilding itself. So I want to give a backup. So I found this cool software on my Synology box that backs up to external drive if the external drive is plugged into the NAS. And it took forever 
and it got to 29% and when I came back upstairs from having my lunch it had failed. Ball ache. Now I think it's because I did have stuff on that drive already but it's already got half an update and no my luck I could wipe the hard drive, copy everything back on and then the disk could fail. So either way it's risky. Timer on for Chicken Kiev and chips. Beer. Now I've got some bad news, right? Any Tracy Brown fans, she might not appear in this week's vlog very much because tonight she's out um, doing a, an extra shift at work. She might not be in until about 7 o'clock. Now I've had a right ball ache this week with technology and that's all this is going to be about. In fact, we haven't really filmed much because I've been more worried about my Synology server and getting backed up. Um, because obviously if I lose all my work, it's like 10 years of, of, of work for clients and stuff, so it is a bit worrying. Um, so I'm now trying another backup of the Synology box to my hard drive, um, which is down there. Um, everything's a mess, but I'm just plugging everything in. I'm going to rewire everything and tidy out the shelf where it resides. Uh, but I need the backup first. So I'm doing a Synology Hyper Raid backup, which is like a compressed version. That doesn't even look like your files are there. But then they appear again if you ever need to restore it. It sort of like expands and they turn back into whatever files you're backing up. Which, um, you know, I've, I've yet to see that happen yet. Um, and what I managed to do was, for some reason, the hard drive I'm backing it up on, it wouldn't take almost as if it didn't have enough space. But the Synology server didn't say that it didn't have enough space. It just tried to do it anyway. Where most of the time when you copy files over... It usually tells you that there's not enough space before it begins. And because it's a big ass backup, it's annoying when it gets to like 20% and then decides there's not enough space. And then to top that off, I managed to copy all the work onto my Mac Pro down there because it's got so much space in it. Um, I was able to back it up. So I've got a backup in case the hard drive fails on the Synology server which I doubt it will it's just you know when you just think look I can't sit on this because I'm going to live to regret this um, so I'm doing that and then my MacBook Pro over there uh, I decided to wipe it and put Mavericks back on because I, I have a feeling Sierra's like pissing about with it um, and the 16 gig of RAM that I've fitted doesn't seem to be taken sometimes it only sees 8 now it could be a faulty RAM slot which means that the computer is on the way out and if that's the case I can't really grumble because it's a 2010 machine and it's still good. But I have a feeling it only started, that's before I fitted the new RAM. It only started when I upgraded to Sierra and that was only about three weeks ago at the most. Um, and because the laptop shipped with Mavericks, I'm just going to go for an older West just so I've got a bit of versatility. So I've got Yosemite on my main machine and I've got uh, Sierra on... Um, my iMac over there and then I'll have Mavericks on my laptop so that's cool and I'm currently building a, uh, when it actually does it an installation CD for Mavericks because Create Pro did is a Mavericks one, a Mountain Lion one and a Yosemite one and the Yosemite one and the Mavericks one gets so far into the install then decides it doesn't like it and that the USB is corrupt so I'm building my own so I'm currently using a terminal to write the Mavericks installation file that I downloaded from the App Store or oh, here's a tip for anybody who might not know this obviously the latest operating system by Apple is the only one you can download from the App Store so at the minute it's Sierra so you couldn't download Yosemite or Mavericks or El Capitan or Mountain Lion or anything like that but if you've previously downloaded it through um, the App Store, then if you go to your purchases and log into your App Store, it brings up everything you've ever downloaded, including old operating systems, and you can click download. So even though it's not officially on the main page, you can get round it, and that's how I'm getting Mavericks back. So that's cool. So it's just a lot of waiting around, isn't it? You know, all of this backup stuff, and insulation stuff and creating USB bootable drives to put operating systems on 
you know, PC or Mac, it's the most time consuming thing you can do. But I'm hoping it's going to be all done by the end of the weekend so I can get back to work because I am at good stages with some of the projects I've got going at the minute. But I would have still preferred to have gotten more work done than I have this week. I'm just a doer. I like to get my work done. And at the minute, I'm alright, but I'm not ahead. And I always like to be ahead to sort of, you know, in case anything like this happens. But when something like this does happen, you can't be far ahead enough because restoring files and backing up entire years of work takes a long time. Alright, let's check the tea. Make it to like... Five minutes. I'm really hungry. Chips are on anyway. Can't beat a chicken Kiev. Can't beat chips in the fat fryer. You just can't beat them really, can you? You know what I mean? God, I really feel like I'm doing a solo vlog this week. You know what I mean? Because we really haven't filmed much at all this week, but obviously I've been preoccupied with obviously all that crap upstairs, haven't I? This is making us feel better though. Go and drink during the week, but on the weekend, I like to enjoy myself and relax. This episode of iCouple is sponsored by TechServe IT Solutions for all your computer and IT needs in the Durham area, including Windows 10 and Mac OS tutorials. Give them a call today. Day 2, or oh no, day 3, of uh, redoing my office. And that thing is a pain in the ass. Okay, so Mavericks didn't install on my laptop. So I tried install a new Semity, which the App Store was trying to download once I connected to my Wi-Fi password, which made no sense. So I downloaded that. Then I thought, oh right, now do a time machine backup of all my software and all my files. And then I've got my Mac back as it was before I did the update, only downgraded to Yosemite. And guess what happened? What happened is I couldn't back up from my time machine backup because it was a backup taken in Sierra not Yosemite and Apple were forcing us to update to Sierra to get me files back so I read an article online that said that you could copy your files over manually which obviously is a ball ache and I've tried doing some of that like your library settings which contains the settings of you know all your keychains and stuff like that for your passwords and it wasn't overwriting over the top it was creating a copy so I then had to delete the keychain that the OS install had created, delete that, rename it and take the copy off the file name so that it had the keychain from my time machine back up. My files are currently getting backed up, it's going to take, according to this, one day to back up all of that under there. Um, that hard drive there, which was going to be my second backup, has failed, so I'm good. I've got one backup on the Mac Pro and one backup that's getting backed up to this hard drive there, follow the cable. Right, so that's going into there. So that means I've got two backups, but I don't want to keep a backup on here because I'm using up all my, my terabyte space on there. So I want to then do another copy onto another hard drive. So I'm gonna have to buy another hard drive. So I'm gonna have two hard drives with a backup of my media server. And that should be enough, I hope. And that hyper backup software that comes with the Synology box sounds like an, an ingenious thing, you know, compresses your files and then uncompresses them if you ever restore to another volume or you ever get any data loss because that's your backup. And can our hell get it to work? God, it's really dark in here. There, yeah, that's better. Let there be light. Let's see how long we can last before the cold gets to us. Uh, well, I haven't put your gloves on yet. See, I can't I'm not do anything with this night, to be honest with you, but, you know. I think but I'm yes, getting your gloves out. <laughs> we'll try and walk as quickly as possible so we don't freeze. Because, uh, I'll tell you what, this coat isn't as warm as the other one. She better get her uh, sewed up, my mother. 
half and now. Yeah, but in that one you're meant to be wearing like an extra layer underneath. Yeah, but you well, don't have a jumper on. I've got a jumper on with my t shirt, but I don't think it's cut out for this weather. I think I might have made a boo boo. <laughs> What's that, the Long Island iced tea, is it? Yeah. Uh, Long Island iced tea. Trying to decide what you're going to have for your food. Well, I don't know whether to have a burger or. Huh? Steak's a nice name, but it can be spicy. Is that nice, like? Now we've got the right one. It was the wrong one. <laughs> you can tell it's like obviously Yep. Enjoying it? <laughs> Why is it that the desserts just look nicer than the main meals? Don't they? It's like like boner material. We've had a nice Frankie and Betty's, haven't we, darling? My belly's full. Well, I'm full, but I'm not like I'm going to be sick full. No, yeah. No, so I know what you been, mean. It's been all right, hasn't it? <laughs> but it's absolutely freezing out here. Oh, yeah. It? Freezing. But uh, not bad for a, uh, a nice a nice meal out just yeah. for the weekend and that, you know what I mean? <laughs> but we're going back home to snuggle and watch oh, yeah. TV, and I'm absolutely knackered, so I have a feeling I'm going to fall asleep on my dear wife here. Yes. As I usually do. <laughs> he so, does indeed. Uh, but, uh, but there's nothing wrong with that. No. You know what I mean? And we've been up early for our driving lessons. Our driving lessons. Signing, it's good for going like that and it logging you in into the That's excellent. Um, anything else, like using the shortcuts on your software, I'm already using the shortcuts on my software, like in other ways. So why would I want to relearn what I know about computers and start as if I've never seen a computer before? Because that's what it would be like. Do you know what I mean? It is a gimmick. I think. God, my vlogging camera's a beast, isn't it? Absolute beast. Sunday morning and it's still going. It's got four hours left and then I've got a backup on an external hard drive. I've just come back from my driving lesson and usually now while Tracy's on hers I'm usually editing the vlog to go up some point today and I don't think it's going to happen. I think, I think we're going to be a day out for this week because it's taken ages. I mean four hours from now it's gonna be it's gonna be about four o'clock. 
And it takes about three hours to edit the vlog. I might have time, it's just that it's a Sunday as well, so it's like, how late do you want to work on a Sunday? So let me ponder that. And there you go. You know what I mean? Uh, and Problems, I, problems, problems! Can I just oh. say one thing though? When you, when you have all that data on a server, um, to say that your Jeez. bumhole does that is a little <laughs> bit of an understatement, do you know what I mean? Um, but uh, thank God I've got two backups and I've got one to go, which I'm doing on the other computer so it doesn't hang up my main one, whatever I did this on. So thank God it's all over. So thanks for watching, most importantly, this week because you nearly didn't get one. So if you've tuned in and you've noticed it's uploaded a little bit late, I do apologise. But technically it's we still Sunday. Reasons. Yeah, it's still is Sunday though, so you know, yeah. we've made it, haven't we? We've still done it though. So thanks for your support and there uh, thank you for continuing to comment. Um yep. thanks for all the private messages. I do appreciate it, but can you comment instead? Because it's nice that some of the questions that you guys ask, it's nice for people to see them and see my reply. You know, because it is a community YouTube and yeah. stuff. So, you know, thanks for getting in touch, but we prefer you to comment under the videos. And there uh, thanks for your support as always. And we'll see you next week. Next week, yeah. With no server problems, won't we? I hope, fingers crossed. So look after yourself and take care. See we'll you later. See you next week.